I'm like a mountain goat. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for watching my huge fly fisherman video. If you're new here, I post a new video every Monday. It's always about fly fishing. It might be an instructional or informative video, or it might be a video about my strong opinions about fly fishing. I've got a lot of them. Or sometimes I put out a video of just us going fishing. Sometimes we catch fish, sometimes we don't. And that's kind of what this video is about. Because you know, we don't always catch a bunch of big fish. That's fishing. I've gone out a bunch of times and tried to make a video for you and it didn't really work out. Maybe we didn't catch as many fish as we hoped, maybe something went wrong, but either way, I didn't think it was good enough to make a video for you. But I think if I smash a few of those videos together, we've got something worth posting. And that's what this video is. I've got a float trip and I hiked to an alpine lake for some trout. It wasn't great fishing, but we did catch some fish, and I guarantee you if you watch, you will learn something. So let's go. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Today I am out on another river that holds fish, hopefully. I am in a boat. I have with me my friend Scott. <laughs> so we're gonna be floating this river today. It's gonna go through a canyon and then some flatter country. Brown trout, rainbow trout, and possibly some very big trout. We'll see what happens there. All right, enough yapping, let's fish. Uh, uh. Uh. Hello, anybody home? Watch out for the tree. Uh. Midstream boulders. Are the midges out? <laughs> I think the hatch is at 11:42. Have not seen a fish yet. Oh, f we just spooked a big one. Yeah, we we blew one out. He was way up shallow. Did you see my video from this morning? It's about the goat rope or stonefly. I don't know if this is a real yeah. stonefly -y river. I see a bug and we're switching it up. I'm gonna drive. Okay, Scott, pressure's on. I don't know really why there's pressure, but it's bony today. <sighs> Dang it. I was so scared about that one in the middle. <sighs> Is that, is that how you're supposed to do it? Okay, got that out of the way. It's like getting that first ski wreck of the season out of the way. I like to keep it ahead of the boat because the boat scares them. And also if the flies, if you're fishing ahead of the boat, your flies generally gonna be swimming slower rather than ripping it downstream with the boat. So that just makes yeah. it easier for the fish to grab theoretically. And lately the fishing hasn't been great in the morning, but this is a tailwater. So, water temperature is the same. <laughs> nice. Can you teach me that one? We're mostly streamer fishing today. We do have a nymph rod we'll mess around with at some point. It's just much easier to fish streamers from the boat. And also we only throw the meat. There's a feather right there. We could tie around and fly with that. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. There's a nice slot. I like it, it looks good. I'm gonna stop for a minute and have a yeah. beer. It'll be quick. Well, we haven't even seen a fish yet. We floated, I don't know, a mile or so, a mile and a half. I'll let you know when something happens. I think now would be an okay time to catch one. Somebody made a comment on one of my videos that they wanted to see like a, more rapids or something. There's something about like proving myself or something like that. This one's for you, guy. I better not mess it up. <laughs> oh wow, these waves are much smaller at water this low. So I guess it's not that impressive. Catch one in the rapids. At least there's no more trees in it this year. That's a pointy rock. All right, catch one here. Should we pull over? Switch it up. That was easy at that level. Yeah, that was no problem at all. The waves are small. I'll let you row the rock garden though. <laughs> good job, Scott. It's a good slot. Get it deep. Kapow, kapow. I'm ready. I guess I'll sit down. 
I love this hole. All right, let me catch you up to what's going on. We lost the GoPro. It was in the river in a rapid. <laughs> a pretty gnarly one. The camera wasn't rolling. I really wish it had been. So I accepted the fate. The GoPro was gone. We pushed off. I immediately got my streamer snagged on a rock. So he immediately pulled over. We're sitting in the eddy. Scott goes, what's that? And he pulls the GoPro off the bottom of the river in the eddy. Miracles happen today. Unfortunately, we haven't caught a fish yet though. But uh, while I was waiting for the camera to dry out, we've gotten like three or four good streamer eats. Didn't connect with any of them, but that's the way streamer fishing goes. So things are looking up. We still got a lot of river to cover. Okay, game on. <coughs> All right, I like this run. Pulled many fish out of here. Did you just clip that branch? <laughs> Did I? Yeah, totally clipped it, bro. Is right side clean or not so much? I kind of looks better to me. Did you hear the back of the boat hit? Yeah, it's all right. Sure is pretty down here. You know, it's not gonna be much of a video if we don't catch any fish. All right, switch it up again. I have faith in you, Olive. There are tons of blueing olives hatching and we've seen some fish rising, but I uh, took all my woes out of my backpack this morning. So that was cool. I don't really wanna fish 5X from the boat anyway. I think they bumped the flows. I've seen several of these floaty debris things. And remember we looked at that flow chart and it was like every three days they bumped it up a little more. It's a theory I'm having right now. We'll validate later. And that would explain the crappy fishing. It's certainly not my skill or lack of. Yeah, it's just like schmeg coming off the rocks. That's what I'm saying. It's a protozoan. No, it's just rock schmeg that's kicked up because they're, they're cranking the flow up. Oh. Y you follow? Well, it's like you go an hour without nothing and then three fish in like 15 seconds. It's just frustrating. Oh, go, come on. <laughs> Stoke level went up temporarily. Oh, definitely just hit myself in the sunglasses. Yeah. We have a fish on, finally. We have had some eats with zero success. There's proof, it's a trout. Thank you, fish, you were important today. We forgot dog food, you guys got any? Yeah. Piece of cake. Oh, the fishing's gonna be awesome right below this. Wonder if it's gonna be just blown to f below this, dude. It very well could be. Those are some big ass rocks he's tossing around, dude. Might be time to just chill and have a beer, you know, yeah, if, if it's I mean, chocolate milk for a little while. <laughs> America. Catching any? Well, the fishing pretty much took a nosedive after that, and I didn't bother filming an outro. We didn't slam a bunch of fish, but it was a fun day. So now let's roll into part two, Alpine Lake. I am fat and out of shape. I can see my house from here. It's right there. There's a deer. You probably can't see it. It's a buck. Am I breathing too loudly? Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Today we're gonna fish an Alpine Lake. We're gonna go to a lake called Blue Lake. It's in the Gore Range in the Central Mountains of Colorado. There's no trail to this lake. It's about a six mile hike each way. I've been hiking for a couple hours already this morning. I got about a mile left to go. Just gotta go up and over that hill. The sun's coming up. I'll see you when we get there. There it is. That's our destination, old Blue Lake. So let me tell you the game plan here, why I picked this lake and what's gonna happen today. I mostly picked this lake because it's six miles in with no trail, so that keeps pretty much everyone away. I highly doubt I'm gonna see anyone today. And that's pretty much my primary goal. Number two is the angle of the sun. There's a flat over here on this lake that I wanna fish, and when the sun comes up in the morning, it'll be at my back which is desirable for spotting fish. Another factor is the W. The W comes from that way, and so this lake is sheltered most of the time. The drawback is that if a storm pops up, I'm not gonna see it until it's right on top of me. So here's what I think is gonna happen today. I'm gonna go fish that flat over there, and I think I'm gonna probably catch like two or three fish at the most. 
I've been here a couple times before and that's how it's gone each time. I don't think there are a lot of fish in this lake, but I have caught some big ones. Now, if it sucks, we do have some backup options. There is a sub lake right above the primary lake. I've never actually walked over to it. I don't even know if there are fish in it. Still half frozen right now. And then down here, there's a lake where I can see a lot of fish rising even this far away. I've never been to that lake. I don't know if they're cutthroats or brook trout. If they're brook trout, I don't even want to bother with them. I only like cutthroats when I'm alpine lake fishing, but I think that's a little too far. I don't think I'm going to make the effort to go down there. I'm going to stick it out here at Blue Lake and see what happens. So I got a little bit further to go. See you down there. Before we get to the fishing, in case you didn't know, I made a video about Alpine lakes. It's about how to find good lakes and how to fish them. I'll leave a link right here and I'll put a link in the video description. I can see some fish rising, that's good. Okay, I'm rigged up. I'm just gonna work my way over there to where I'm in a good position with the light. The water is not as clear as it should be. And I don't know why. I'd really like maximum clarity for sight fishing. We'll see what happens. This is not good. I can't see anything. And I don't want a blind fish. Oh, 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 there's a target. Cruising on the bottom. I got a chubby on. No reaction. That's a nice fish. He's gonna see my shadow. Oh, that's a nice fish. Okay. It's a positive sign. No reaction to my dry fly. So I wanna start with a big dry. If I have to, I'll downsize. And then if I have to, I'll go subsurface. It's not what I really want to do, but I'd rather catch something than nothing. I walked all this way. That was a nice fish. Oh, here's another one. Might be the same one. Just moved my fly into position. Uh, he swam right under it. Didn't really look. I think that's the same fish. Yeah, he does not want that chubby. I'm not ready to change yet, though been fishing for two minutes. This wind is going the wrong direction. Talked a big game like I knew exactly how things were gonna go. I'm wrong already. Oh, here's one. Cruising in tight. This is a better target. He's foraging slowly. Come on. He doesn't see it yet. That might still be the same fish. What is the deal? He just isn't even reacting. He's sitting still on the bottom. That is not what you're supposed to do in an alpine lake, you trout. Haven't you watched my video? What's going on? Sitting still. Let's just hit him on the head. Come on, dude, eat it. It's a grasshopper. It's the biggest thing you've seen in months. Huh, what is his deal? That's a pretty fish. I can see the red on him. Come on, he sees the fly. Ugh. All right. Give it a few more minutes before we put on a woolly bugger. Okay, I think I see another one. Light colored fish. Or is that a rock? That's a rock. I'm just hanging my dry fly out there while I wait for something to swim by so I can throw at it. Some might eat it. There's this one snuck by me. I think that's the same big one, but now he's got a partner with him. That is a nice fish. There's another rise over there close to shore. That is a big fish, dude. Oh, it's like flashing and eating stuff. Yeah, there are two. Not looking at my fly at all. <laughs> okay, I didn't last long. I put on a woolly bugger. And there was a fish somewhere right in front of me. All right, here he is. There are two fish there. It's gonna be really hard to set the hook from up here. Oh, he's, he's on it. I can't see what's going oh, on. Oh. oh, I can't see. He ate it. I can't see what's going on. Eat it, eat it. Oh. Whew. Two big fish right here. <clears throat> and they're reacting. I can't see if they're eating it. Oh, yeah, I don't want it near my shadow. These fish can be really weird sometimes. They're right next to my shadow. I don't want to move. Oh, okay. That one's on it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Now, how am I going to land it? My fly line's under some rocks. <clears throat> I need my net. I was way up here on a perch. Oh, gosh. Keep the line tight. Oh, that's a pretty fish. It's not the big one, of course. Oh, yeah. I'll take it, though. It's actually my first cutthroat of the year. All right, we did it. Hey, I'm Ben, I'm a huge fly fisherman. And there we go, that's about 13 inches of cutthroat trout from this lake, which is probably around 11.3. 
11,300 feet, something like that. Not a large fish, but a handsome one. Thank you, fish. Sincerely. Would you like to do an underwater release shot? I thought so. Okay, well, that was cool. Know what I gotta do now, right? Yep. Okay, let's get another one. There are plenty of fish cruising through here, or it's the same five fish over and over. I'll take it either way. They're liking the woolly bugger, but setting the hook from way up here is tricky. And if I'm down on the shore, I can't see the fish. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. Come here, fishy, where are you? Of course, when I'm sitting down having a beer, they're swimming all over the place. As soon as I stand up, they're gone. Typical, they'll be back. These fish just make laps. I'm waiting. Look this way. Look this way. Okay, I've been standing here 20 minutes and I haven't seen a fish. I'm getting bored, so I'm just gonna walk. See what we can see. This is still a good spot. We'll come back to it later, but it's just boring me right now. So we'll take a walk and see what we can see. You wanna come with me? Maybe do some blind fishing over there. I don't mind blind fishing with the woolly bugger as much as the dry fly. It's just weird. I was seeing them pretty regularly and then it just shut off. That's fishing. I'm like a mountain goat. Pretty good spotting up here, but gonna be tough to catch them. <laughs> I walked up to the little sister lake. I don't know if there's any fish in it, but I gotta find out and I'm so close. I just had to come take a look. I mean, it has all the right ingredients. It just needs fish. This water's super clear. Well, it looks great, but I think it's safe to say that it's barren. There are no fish in this lake, but now I know. And that's where I called it a day. I went home and had a nice nap in the afternoon. So what'd you think of this video? Do you wanna see more? I got a bunch of other failed missions that I could do this with. Thank you for watching. I hope there was something in there that you learned from. I'll be back next week with another huge fly fisherman video. In the meantime, get out there. If you fail, it's okay. Stay huge. I watch Bill dance all the time. I still do, or I would if it was on TV. Greatest bloopers ever.